We won Dallas. But you can bet your ass Dallas doesn't want any more of this. Now look, Dallas fans, I don't want to sit here and rub it in. I mean, that loss had to be painful enough as it was. Losing 33 to 10 in front of a national audience. Ruining your whole Thanksgiving dinner. And then having to eat that humble pie for dessert. Witten's throwing a tantrum on the sideline. Des Bryant's crying like he hasn't had his diaper changed. Tony Romo laying down in front of the Eagles defense like... Please, Eagles defense. Don't hurt me anymore. I can't take it. I mean, Jesus, Cowboys fans, it, it's, it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And to be honest, I, I, I feel bad for you. I, I, I do. It's the truth. I feel bad for you. And I know you're expecting me to stand here and pound my chest like you should have listened to E-Rock. E-Rock was right. E-Rock told you so. I told you I was right. But the truth is, Cowboys fans, <laughs> you were the ones that were right. Oh, it's, it's true. It's true, Cowboys fans, you were right, you were right the entire time. Because going into last week's game, all I heard was, Who have the Eagles beat? Y'all ain't beat nobody. Y'all only beat bad teams. Eagles don't beat no good times. You were right, Cowboys fans, you were right the entire time. Because going into that game, we hadn't beaten anybody good. And looks like, we still haven't... Oh, by the way, Cowboys fans, I don't know if you woke up in the morning and checked the calendar, but it's December. <laughs> December. So, if I were you, Cowboys fans, I would take advantage of this Cyber Monday. Log on to Bed Bath & Beyond's website, buy yourself four extra pairs of sheets, because Lord knows from now until the end of the season, you're going to be shitting the bed every week. And that's just going to get messy. So this week, the defending Super Bowl champions come to Lincoln Financial Field. And let me tell you something, Eagles fans. It's going to be a tough one. I mean, it is the Seattle Seahawks. They're just hitting the stride right now, all right? They're getting hot. And not for nothing, they're the defending Super Bowl champions for a reason. So here is my message for you this week, Eagles fans. And what I'm going to need you to do is scooch a little closer to the screen. That's right, scooch a little closer because Uncle E-Rock's going to break down some knowledge, spit some lessons like he's KRS-One on the mic in the Boogie Down Bronx. This team has a shot to do something really big. Really big. Super big. This is the meat of the season. Right here, right now, right in front of us. We host the defending Super Bowl champions. Then we host the only team that's a threat to us in the NFC East, who, by the way, we just got done kicking the shit out of. Then we get to go down to D.C., play Colt McCoy in that circus show that they call the Redskins. Then we got to go beat the Giants, who, by the way, just lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Th that's it. After that, that's a wrap. What if we beat the Seahawks? What if? It's one game against one good team. Well done. But big picture here, kiddies. Big picture. If we beat the Seahawks, all of a sudden, we're no longer talking about uh, who have the Eagles beat. We're no longer talking about, wait, uh, is this team going to make the playoffs? All of a sudden, we're talking about taking the first round of the playoffs off. This is not some fairy tale, boys and girls. This is not some hypothetical situation. This is not in the beginning of the season where we're wondering what if or how come or what. No, 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 no. This right here, right now, is right in front of us. <laughs> and it is a reality. More importantly than all that, and here it comes, kiddies, so you might want to scooch a little closer. When the Seattle Seahawks won their Super Bowl, they won four out of their last six games. When the Giants won their last Super Bowl, they won three out of their last four games. The Packers won theirs. They won three out of their last five games. When the Steelers won their last one, they won five out of their last six games. Only the Colts, the Baltimore Ravens, and the New Orleans Saints have gone on to win the Super Bowl after going under 500 in the last five games of the season. Sometimes, boys and girls, it's not about having the most talented team in the league. 
Sometimes it's about winning games at the end of the season. Sometimes it's about getting hot at the right time. And when you do, walking into the playoffs with a fucking flamethrower strapped to your back. Seattle, you got yourself a good team. You're the defending world champions. But let me tell you something. You're not the same away from Seattle. And sure, you got the 12th man. And by the way, you guys aren't the noisiest fans in the league. You just have the most successfully acoustic engineered stadium in the league. You want to talk about loud? You're talking about Lincoln Financial Field right here in South Philly. You ain't got the 12th man to have you back this time, baby. Welcome to green hell. So that's all I got for you this week, kiddies. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving, and I hope you enjoy the Eagles versus Seahawks. This week's Facebook Friday prize will be, <laughs> and get this one, because this, this is the big one because it's against the big team, all right? This week's Facebook Friday prize will be a LaShawn McCoy signed Eagles 8x10. That's right, a shady signed photo. So make sure you give me a like on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Eagles tailgate team. Also, give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter at the Mighty E Rock. I gotta get going because it's raining right here. The weather's starting to turn a little Seattle like. Oh, yeah, that's right. Until next time, let's go, birds, and I will see you right here on Sunday for the tailgate. Oh my god, I, 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 I almost forgot. I almost forgot to mention it. To all the boys at Merrick Construction watching this when they should be busy doing work, my balls. That is my gift to you.